adopted a dog, it may be a little skittish. It's a common problem for pooches who've been through a whole lot. The canine coach is here with some tips to how to get your new family member more comfortable at your new house. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, now I hear Sadie, you've had her for about four months? Almost, yes. Okay, what was the issue when you adopted her? Well, she was found running six lanes of traffic in <gasps> Dallas, Texas. So she was extremely skittish, didn't like new people. It took her at least two weeks to yeah. get used to him. Well, that was nice of you to adopt the dog because yeah. obviously you're adopting some of the problems. Right. So what kind of issues were the, was the dog having? Well, she's just very nervous around new people. Like right now, she's um, a little, she gets a little nervous, starts to move a little fast, and uh, she barks and growls and just is not real comfortable around new people. So we've been dealing with that a little bit. And then uh, just basic obedience, getting her to pay attention to us instead of her surroundings. Okay, Floyd, so yes, what is the solution? This is a common problem, I'm guessing. Very common with adopted dogs. We don't know if they were abused in the past or what their deal was on that. To cure it, we have to just let them have, we have to be patient. Time will help them in the long run. And some of the things we want to do is, is we don't move fast around them. We don't scare them. We don't make a lot of loud noises. Okay, so those are some practical tips. Yes. Okay, so now one thing you said that was kind of funny is that you said don't wear a baseball <laughs> cap. A lot of times, and I hate to give guys a bad name, but a big guy like me will have a baseball cap on, and they don't realize they're scaring the dog, or in the past they might have abused the dog. So if you remove your ball cap, I've seen a lot of dogs look at you like, oh, you're not that bad guy. Is there a way to approach the dog that's a more friendlier way? Slowly and bribe them. I mean, bribery is a great trick. Just come at them and say, hey, would you like to have this treat? Oh, I'm not such a bad guy. And I noticed that some dogs, they might, this one in particular doesn't like people, but maybe other dogs have bad experience with other animals as well. They can have bad experiences with animals. You can be walking down the street and they see a dog that they remember that attacked them one time and they'll either run behind you or try to run to the house 100 miles an hour. So yes, that's another form of skittishness. Skittishness. Okay, so how has Sadie been improving? What have you been doing? Well, we would just take her everywhere. We take her to PetSmart. She goes to the office with me every day, so that's pretty cool for her. My parents have a dog there, and she used to bark at people as they came in the door, and now she just kind of lets out a little warning, hey, here I am, and then just lays back down. So we've just been really introducing her to as many different sights and sounds and smells and people as we possibly can. And Floyd, you say that you know, this is just in four months there's been an improvement, but you think yes. that the dog will eventually become used to the new environment and become normal. Yes, they will. Most dogs will adjust to the household, but you have to remember this. It's about the second time they've had to adjust because in the past they've had to adjust to shelter life, and now you've brought them to a new place, and I'm really going to get to stay here. Yes, you are. And so you want to probably encourage people that have just adopted a dog that have ha that are having some difficulties to be patient because the dog will come around. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Time will tell. And I've had experience myself. I adopted a dog, and same thing, had lots of problems, but now a year later, I mean, basically everything's pretty much ironed great, out. Great. Okay, and you wanted to let people know how important it is actually to adopt dogs. It is, it is. It saves a dog's life, consider it that way. And you can get a dog for people who are on a budget. It's, it's more budget minded to adopt a dog also. Because a lot of people, they want puppies because they want to raise the puppy and whatnot, but, you, but adult dogs are, are even more loving. Adult sometimes. dogs, yes, they are, but there's plenty of puppies in the puppy pounds too. You know, there's, there's, there's you can pregnant. Have both. Yeah, pregnant females end up there and they have their litter. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming this morning. Thank you. And of course, the canine coach is here to answer any questions you may have. If you're having problems with your pooch, you can email us at news at ktriplitv.com. And in the subject line, just write canine.